Alright y'all, we are back and Sorry y'all dead brain. Uh we are here and this is a Patreon review. Um Someone paid for this. Yeah, Andrew Morales uh, had requested it uh, like some time ago, actually. Uh, sorry it's taken so long. Uh, like I said, drop as many requests as you want. That's how this works. So you drop drop three or four, we'll get to them eventually. A deuce, um, a trace, a and so this one is actually uh, one Wait. that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Uh, this thing dropped uh, early June. And a couple years ago, because I am a massive, I am a massive Hang 3 fan, uh, and early, thing, I think summer last year, 4 and the Strange Band came out with the single you Son ain't a true of... You ain't unless you like some Hank Jr. Um, the, the single <laughs> Son of Sin, and I was like, damn, this right here, Son of Sin, holy shit. I was like, this has a really like sinister creepy vibe to it man that violin in there man i was like this is this is touching on something else that, that's in like the country world. favorite song on the album ain't it though the, man. It, it, that's the ending song too it is uh, uh, no 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 you're talking about the the ending song is uh okay, filth yeah. son of sin is before well, it though but yeah son of sin man what okay a, maybe on the I don't, maybe I didn't hear filth then, because really, cause filth is like the stoner country fucking or the doom country track. Hmm. Uh, maybe my maybe I didn't download that one because it might have ended on Son of Sin. Mm. It's probably on right. and on and on again. I'm just another old Son of Sin. <laughs> that shit is wicked, man. Wicked. That is some fucking wicked dark country. Yeah, like digging it, right? And then all of a sudden, boom! They're they're like I'm, I follow them on Facebook. So like they're on like tour right now. Like they're they're they're, they're a pretty busy band at the moment. Uh, How old is this guy? Are uh, mid to late thirties? Like the dude straight up said that you know he didn't want uh, his legacy um, or his uh, not his legacy but his ancestry to be what. Uh, pushes him out mm, there. He doesn't want to. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to live Fake. off of the Williams name. What is the, is he, the word I'm looking for? Um, nepotism. Yes, yes. Like, yes. yeah, and well, almost like every other was like, like their he predecessor. waited the longest out of like his other. Uh, yeah, family his father members. was more like his grandfather, not like his father, because Hank too was well, that really came was out more last country. Year. Yeah, Hank Jr. Original Hank was outlaw country, and then Hank three was this is from last outlaw. year. Uh, Son of Sin is, but yeah. this dropped, uh, the actual full album dropped in June. Yeah, it's pretty but Son of Sin came out last year. This one is the Circus Train, what? Southern, Southern Circus. Circus. This says 2021. I guess that's the earliest date based on when Son of Sin dropped. But the album, uh, official came out in, uh, June. This right here in my yeah. hand. Mm -hmm. That right there. But, uh, anyway... So yeah, he's like one of the, he, he waited the longest apparently. He, the dude went to college and shit, um, you know, has a, his, his name is Coleman Williams, so he's not even going by like the whole Hank Williams thing. So The but, other guys ain't named Hank, right? Yeah, uh, I think I think Hank 3 is actually Shelton uh, Henry, <laughs> Shelton Henry. Well, fucking. Henry is Hank. Yeah, exactly, so I, so I think it might go. be uh, just Shelton Henry Williams, but uh um, but he is keeping in line, you know, calling it for the strange band, which I think is kind of cool. Like instead of instead of it being him, mm -hmm. it is He's it's the whole collective of, yeah. of it's the band. Uh, it's not just Hank Three. Yeah. It's not just Hank Williams. Because then he could just hire any musician to it, play the parts. Yeah, basically, Hank Three can hire anybody and play with anybody and still be Hank Three. But mm -hmm. for the strange band. You can have a revolving door. It can be four into something. Yeah, it feels more like a collective of people as opposed to showcasing the next uh, big country guy in the Williams bloodline, basically. Uh, but what I really was surprised with, then they dropped, uh, earlier earlier this year, they dropped a single for uh, Inbred. And God I, damn I got a little. Uh, I, I was like, "All right, this is this is interesting. This is different." Uh, I love the guitar part. Dun, 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 dun. You know, really cool guitar part. But man, it's a it's a little slow. But it's a song about inbred shit. The video is pretty fucking dark too. 
Uh, and I was like, all right, at the time I was like, you know, I'll wait to see what the next single sounds like. You know, this isn't all that heavy. But here's my thing. I was like, I, wasn't, I was like what is this going to sound like? Because, all right, so we have, we have original Hank that is just old-ass country music, man. Then you have... Then you have Hank Jr. Jr. that's kind of like all over the place, but it, it gets it gets fairly rowdy and, and dirty for, for what it is, but I don't know too much about Hank Jr. Not a big fan. Uh, maybe I haven't heard enough to be a fan. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually fucking... You would have heard Hank Williams more on Rock Warner 3 than Hank Williams Jr. Because Hank Williams See, Jr. would have been more I don't on the country think channel. That me, my, my, myself, that I, I don't think that I can uh, judge... Hank Jr. on yeah. his thing because I don't know, I don't much about know any of it. I don't know much about it at all. I know that when I hear a song, I don't like his voice. See, I can't even really make like, his voice out. I don't. Because he was uh, that. I, I, I know Melissa played that, a couple just, of songs. He was actually southern style country. He's, uh, like, he is, to me, like what, what country on the radio is. But I don't know. Maybe he's got some really good shit that I haven't heard. Let's see what. But uh, then Hank three. That was punk ass country. Hank I like three, man. Punk country. Goddamn cow punk. It was cow punk. Let me see what amazing. fucking Apple says. This is his number one song. <laughs> but absolutely love Hank three, man. Everything the man has dropped. Well, I'm not a big fan of Rising Outlaw, which he, he isn't either. But like, uh, love sick, broken, drifted. Love it. Fuck it. Straight to hell is a masterpiece. Uh, damn right, rebel proud is another masterpiece. Even his other detours, like Ass Jack and um, the uh, the attention deficit domination, like uh, even that cattle, that awful cattle calling album, uh, which is like awesome and awful at the same time. Like I love the shit out of Hank Three and the the fiendish the fiendish threat. Yeah, yeah. Like it sounds like a acoustic misfits. It's fucking awesome. Let's see what this. Let's see some Hank Junior here, y'all. What is this called? A cowboy. A country boy survivor. A, 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 a cowboy. Country boy. A cowboy survive. can't survive. I know that. It's that southern country. A cat in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> I mean, that's what that sounds like. That's on the song. You were just singing that song, Travis. Is that what this is? This cannot be. Uh, I, live back in the wood, you see. I got a shotgun and a rifle and four wheel It's like Rooster. <laughs> it's, 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 the country, it's the country parts from Alice in Chains Rooster. <laughs> country Box Cavalry! That that, that's that Southern that ain't country. awful. That's fine for what yeah. that is. I grew up listening to that as a kid because that's what my mom and my parents listen to is that that stuff too. That's that southern country, like yeah, fucking that's hardcore, like Molly that's hardcore Hatch mountain. Like with it's a hardcore mountain shit. Like right Molly Hatchet and uh, hey, I can see like a southern rock vibe. Like southern maybe rock, some of his shit probably. That's what it was. Man, Hank yeah, three got some rock. Hank three was rockabilly. I mean, he's more rock than his daddy. Cow was. punk. And his son is more rock than he. Yeah, is. exactly. So it goes full exactly. circle. I totally love it. Totally love it. So like Hank three, uh, you know. All over the place. Uh, so I had no idea what uh, Four and the Strange Band was yeah, fourth essentially going to sound like. Did he I have a relationship with his daddy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't think that the uh, the Williams uh, really do have a big relationship with Alon there. That's a shame. I mean, I no real clue. Um, uh, no real clue at all. I, I do know that, I mean, you know... I think Hank, well, Hank Sr. died when all of them were young. Yeah, he died young as fuck. He, he was like 28, 29. That year country old. boy is didn't is survive. He not in the, that country boy didn't survive. <laughs> huh? Is he not in the 27 Club? Uh, I don't believe so. He, okay. he might have but been he was young. one year. But yeah, he was young as fuck. But, uh, so I had no idea what 4 was going to uh, sound like. So then, like I said, Son of Sin was like, whoa, man, this is on a whole nother level of shit. And then Inbred was like, all right, I see what you're doing here. Uh, let's see what what else you got. Then he dropped. Um, what is that called? Um, Doobly doo doo. Um, stand your ground. And I was like, damn, that, that's some 
hardcore punky shit you got going on with Stand Your Ground. Like, it's real catchy, but then it goes to this punk bit. It, and the video is cool, too. Like, he's a referee in a wrestling ring and shit, and he's getting his ass fucking beat. Cool as shit, man. But the song, I was like, all right, okay, all right. I got a little more hopes for this. What's uh, the name of the song? Uh, Stand Your Ground. I just didn't really care too much just for the first two songs. Just mainly because it... See, it starts off... Probably have to cut some of this out. <laughs> Trying to find a find the uh, find the punky bit because it, it takes a hell. I, I got it pulled up right here. Hold on. I still got it. See, he was more. Well, are you able to like just the fourth? Get yeah, I can bit? do that. The fourth was more country than the third was. See? It's like he took them. He split the country, southern rock. It kind of feels with like the, they did a, 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 a Mumford and Sons to it. Yeah, like so here's what I like. This is what I want to get into. <laughs> the cow punk and southern did he, country, did he, did southern he rock. Mumford it. Oh, um, is is that what this is? Not necessarily, but you could see you could see uh, a, a slight influence. You see a slight because this is like this is like indie rock with a country tinge. Or country with an indie rock tinge, with bits of punk and heavy metal spread in there. Uh, it is it is nothing uh, like Hank Three. Uh, so mm -hmm. Say what you're gonna say. I'm saying like he took elements his father had with the kind of the, the cow punk scene and that little metal, the more metal rock, hard rock sound, with more of his great grandfather who would have been more of that southern uh hank williams jr with his southern rock style and his that vocals country. it's very uh, it, like so much of that vibrato shit going he, he on he has man. that more like it's <laughs> it's much Middle better than it's the southern town it's like god damn it's, he's real shaking in that voice yeah you can just imagine like oh, like this one's yeah, <laughs> trying to get vibrato kind of like, like when, when hank three first started coming out and he was doing that off-key yodel like a motherfucker <laughs> uh that uh i he kind of did some of that and that uh <laughs> he tried to do that cow I, I did, cowboy I did sound like that, that in that country yeah. song that we did on yeah the, the, the cheddar pond thing yeah. yeah um uh but yeah so it's like it's what Talking to myself, it's like just breaking your voice when you're singing. Mm -hmm. Man, like this, I call I call it the off key y'all. Oh, yeah, uh, but uh, it is it is really um, so train. I like a lot, uh, but it's it's one it's a little more indie rock with a southern tinge, and then cigarette ends I like a lot too. Another one that's kind of indie rock with a little more country, but deep down is where the first bit of like a heavy track uh, deep down comes in so you have it starts off right here but then you get yeah that's, 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 that's that sounds like the album you hear started off with Teen Hunger Force <laughs> like, the first time the songs start off with such a that really just bluesy country yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it, I guess co comedic style that's what the only reason that threw me off because I like like Lion, the album Lion from Stephen Lynch, where it's a bluegrass comedy. But yeah, that one, and then it just get, it ramps up the the punk and the hard rock, and it's like yeah, completely. It starts it, off. It ends it completely off. different from yeah. how it starts. Oh yeah. So the first two songs are are pretty um just pretty mellow as far as what you. It kind of fools you. It kind of fools you. You, you think, think the album's was... gonna be uh, indie rock country vibe. Uh, but then you get to deep down, and you're like, oh man, they, they brought the thunder on this motherfucker. And it keeps going, it ramps oh, up from there. Yeah, and then Stand Your Ground happens, that that it kind of mixes the indie country vibe with some punk rock. Like, on the on the lines of like Dropkick Murphys, kind of, uh, and then uh, Southern Despair, which one? Bad 10 came to sell the score. 
Kind of like a there's little. That, there's that vibrato. No. It's a little score. <laughs> like, it's amazing. But, uh. I gotta take a whiz. A real. Take a whiz. Real chill track. Real chill track. Uh, and then I'm gonna haunt you. I'm gonna haunt you another that favorite That was mine. Cool. Yeah, just. So. For, while I was listening to it, I didn't look at the title. I thought he said, I will hunt you. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I love that, man. I love that. It's like, so, like I started. It really kind of has this like real Johnny Cash darkness to him. Yeah, you got this. You got this Southern Sludge vibe to like the heavier tracks that I really dig because it's yeah. like real crunchy and real doomy. Uh, with the so dark. Uh, country music with the violins dark and the humor. banjos and stuff, and man, it's a really good mesh of styles happening there. Uh, and. Uh, after that, we have Inbred, which I love this guitar. I love the guitar riff. <laughs> the fucking lyrics for it. What's well, very doom. I love that guitar riff, and uh, it's, it's a very dark. Pretty, song pretty riff. fucked up lyrics. The lyrics um, are fucked up. How much he loves this fucking. It's like it don't matter. I still love you. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, and then Malice is really good. That is like old school kind of. Kind of honky tonk country for that me. Is a, yeah, it's very that, that honky tonk sound. Mm -hmm. for this is probably dark. that's probably one of the closest to like a Hank Three style song. When you, when Hank Three does his like traditional country, it's like this is very honky close to. Yeah, yeah he that's does one of the more traditional country sound. tracks on the album. Such a weird sounding oh. word, honky tonk. I know, right? <laughs> Broken pieces. A little baby cat yeah. hanging out back there. Another little cool, little very ballad, little dark ballad kind of sound to what's going on. And it's a duet. I actually don't know who he's singing with, but apparently Shooter Jennings plays piano on this album. He's popping up a lot now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Drink is sad. I like a lot. Now that's a honky tonk bar yeah. track all the way. I don't know for some reason. I just pictured the first one of these. There's I'm a trying. tear in my beer. <laughs> yeah. It's like teardrops in my guitar. This is a cool little track. And after that is Son of Sin. Man, you Dude, guys. Fuck it all. Ah, like, definitely probably my favorite track on here, which... It's the way it sounds old. Sounds like it's played on like a very... Like old shit. Like, it it sounds like it's phonograph. It sounds old like it's being sang through a through fucking a can. tin can. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brother and then then like, like there's a tin roof where he's recording it. Yeah. A donkey outside. And then when it kicks in. That's that like hard southern rock sound. I love the banjo. It's just so badass. But yeah, you're right. The banjo picking, the banjo picking, I like because it's like it's all slow kind of banjo picking on on this whole album. But then the the final track, filth, just fucking. Love that. Like that's that's what I call southern rock. Yeah, <laughs> now they got like a honky so, rock. Southern that's doom. Like, that sounds like new metal doom rock. What that southern. Country, southern doom rock. It's like country new metal. Country doom or southern sludge. But that shit is just fucking awesome, man. Fucking awesome. That's the open, sh open duck, drop D fucking. No. Let's say, like, when I looked at it, it'd be funny if they started. I saw the cover. And I'm like, started gin, 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 gin. when you look at the cover and you hear the first song, it's like, oh, this so whole album is going to be this like sad clown country <laughs> honky tonk music, and it's just like I'm so pleasantly surprised. Right? Yeah. Started, I was like, yeah. okay, I was like, all right, cool, Travis, make we're listening to some honky, some bluesy honky tonk. Okay, Jesus, I guess Hank, Hank Four went the other way, and then when he hit that fucking, when he started getting that cow punk that and that fucking different. hard rock. I was like, yeah, oh shit! Yeah, I don't I was like this that. is fucking awesome. This is what I was hoping for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it started off. I was like, man, I was like, oh, another fucking honky tonk album. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, dude, it, it got so when good. When he was dropping the singles, man, I was, I was injured. I don't, I'm normally a one single person. Uh, don't want to ruin it. But, but since I didn't not know, in, you don't even know. Who yeah, this since is, I didn't so you know, know what he was doing, like, like so Son like, of Sin. I gotta hear more before I buy it. Son of Sin pulled me in all the way last year. Then in bread dropping, I was like, all right, it's good, but what else you got? And then Stand Your Ground came, and I was like, all right, okay, show me something different here. I'm digging it. Uh, and I was like, all right, now I'm going to hold off till the album. And, uh, yeah, like, like 
pleasantly surprised. Uh, I mean, it starts off indie rock country vibes, and then it just turns into something completely different. You get deep down, and from deep down on up, it just kind of stays dark till you get like the little duet, and then the the uh, the honky tonk bar track uh, with like drinking sad and stuff. But man, uh, like I'm gonna haunt you. Like there's some really really good shit on here. Uh, and man, I absolutely love this album and can't wait to see what they wind up doing next. Like, I am ready. Like, and this shit just came out. I'm like, give me some more. Like, now, I'm, give me some more now. Like, like, what does his kid sound like? <laughs> what is he playing? <laughs> I mean, it, really. But it'd it's be funny. His kid comes out with, like, digitized country. <laughs> well, that's, that, that's what his, he's going to be into. I because if he's in his 30s, his, he's got a TikTok generation kid. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's think one be like thing is trap like, country. Or this yeah. is the fourth generation. Eight <laughs> five. Get you ready imagine, for it, kids. You can imagine eight five you know, getting to a point where like <laughs> you feel obligated to do this because the first four generations have been doing this kind of uh, this rebel country music. And they've, all and about, they've all you know even their brothers they, and sisters are in the game too. Like like what is is there a Hollywood Williams? I think like. Hank's got, Hank 3's got a sister that fucks around uh, in, in the There's got to be a lot of Williams. We're going to have a fourth yeah, generation There's got to be a lot of Williamses. Williams. Is, 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 like, just like the Cashes and, and, and the uh, um, the Carters and shit. Like, I haven't just followed big, any of the Cashes and Carters. Uh, Gabriel Cash, uh, Johnny Cash's grandson, he's kind of doing shit right now. And okay. it is awesome. Like, that dude. Okay. Awesome as fuck. He hasn't really dropped anything. He kind of does covers and shit on his YouTube. But, like, his voice... Hardcore, fucking deep voice, goddamn, fucking yeah, Johnny Cash boy. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. really cool, man. He's got to be old as shit, don't he? Um, I really don't know, man. He's grandson. Uh, I mean, if he's the grandson. He's got to be old as shit because Johnny Cash was old as shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not it ain't been too long since he died. Almost it, twenty years. Yeah, it, well, no, it's been long. twenty years, yeah. right? Man, God damn, no, two thousand three, right? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. So are, we, are we that old now, Travis? We're old as fuck, dude. We're man, old we're getting fuck. old as fuck. Well, man, this album is awesome as hell, and I highly recommend it to anybody. Um, I dig I dig the indie country vibe. I dig everything I hear on here. Cause, now, what I do, like, I mentioned that it's nothing like Hank 3. Like, and like you said, there are there are bits, like, there's there's some medley stuff, but when you really listen, when you really listen, a lot of the Hank 3 stuff is fast loud it's rowdy like it really has roots in traditional country music with bits of punk and heavy metal sprinkled in but it is heavy heavy on the steel guitar like it is all mostly just jamming straight like they are jamming their asses off the guys that hang three plays with are incredibly talented fucking pickers and stuff like, I mean, on the banjos, the violins, man, some of the best violin work I've heard in like modern country music, some of the best steel guitar work I've heard in modern country music is all in like some Hank 3 stuff. Uh, like, it is everywhere. Uh, it and makes four so and impressive. Four, what I like is it tones all that stuff down. Like, it's not straight just jamming all the time. Like, like it's there's slight banjo picks in the background, there's some slight violin stuff, but like, there's no straight just. Just jamming shit in your like, face. Yeah, just it's it's, it's like he they literally toned it down and made everything more cohesive. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it, it really plays so well, and it really hooks you because like I said the first songs you would not suspect the rest of this album. Yeah, you would not. Expect, it was yeah. far into the spectrum because you have this country. This is like really slow, bluegrassy, just southern country music, full uh, honky mu honky tonk music, and then down to this end. Now you're just like. Honky tonk yeah. punk rock. It's got a little it's bit just, of it's hard for everybody, and it's so good. Uh, I, I I like where it's headed. I like where it's going. Um, I mean, because if you look at the, if you look at what's happening in the in the popular country world, man, uh, it is. It has been just some of the worst garbage I've heard it's in, in forcing 30, it like, 40 years. We're going to do a country album, but it's going to be hip-hop now. It like, is. Ugh. It is so bad today. It is so fucking awful. It, it just keeps getting worse, y'all. So look that, up I'm uh, sorry. modern country, modern oh. popular country music. Like, look at Mud Cricket. Uh, there is some hey, awful Siri. shit. Play Mud Cricket. I don't know how to respond to that. She said, fuck you. She said, Mud Cricket. Mud Play cricket. Mud Cricket. Yeah. 
Boondock Kings. God, y'all. Oh, and this is supposed to be, yeah, this is modern country. Yeah. It's the Hank Hill thing where you're not making Christianity better, you're just making rock bad. They're doing the same, this is, you're not making fucking country better, you're just making hip-hop worse. <laughs> That's garbage, dude. You're making both suck, <laughs> like... That is fucking garbage. Stop it, Zach. That's just bad. It's just hip hop with a with a country theme to it. Hold on. on. Saying, talking about their. Have fucking... you heard the fucking Applebee's song? Yeah, and I oh. hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it so much. I'm surprised I mean, it's the first time it's ever getting brought up around us. Yeah, I'm like, just not God a damn. fan of it. I mean, like, so here's the thing. Here's a theory I've had for country be popular radio country music. Because in the underground, country is a million years ahead of what's happening. But in the radio format for country, country has always been at least 20 years behind everything else. They're trying to get the younger the if kids you remember, now. If you remember, in the mid 2000s, you remember in the mid 2000s, uh, you know, they just now, country music and the popular radio country music has just now been successful with mixing hip hop into country music. It has just now become successful. Now there have been breaks, there have been um, oddities uh, since the early days. Uh, you know, Nelly and uh, Tim McGraw. Uh, you know, sometimes things no, have they're crossed accidentally over. racist or accidental uh, racist, or whatever the fuck it was called. See, uh, back then, though, who was that? That was LL Cool J and uh, um, Brad Paisley, I believe. But uh, <laughs> thing is, is like LL back then, Cool J. That shit was a novelty. Shit like Cowboy Troy, a novelty. When Big and Rich are like throwing in hip hop slang, when Brooks and Dunn's throwing in hip hop slang, it was it was a novelty. It was tongue in cheek. It was a joke. Uh, Cowboy Troy came out with hick hop shit, awful, horrible, not a fan of it, but it was a novelty. Like, it was like, this is never going to be anything other than what it is right now. But now, they just now successfully started mixing hip hop into their music 20 years after heavy metal had started doing that. Uh, you know, 50, 25 years after heavy metal started in it. In the, in the early 2000s, there was Colt Ford, probably one of the earliest, like, guys I remember kind of getting pretty big on it, being like, this is where things are about to head. But then he kind of went away, and I never heard uh, anything about Colt Ford again. Uh, but like I said, like, mainstream country shit is just always just so behind everything else. Uh, and and we, we, when we've had bands like the Builders and the Butchers for ages... Uh, but no one knows about them, you know. Hank three, only a hand. Whitey you know, Ford. Um, well, eh. it still fell in the country eh. genre because what, it was a real song Nas on a hip hop album. Lil Nas X started out as a rap country artist. He was on the charts. <laughs> but that, that was, was a novelty song. Charts. That was also a yeah. novelty it was song. A, it, it was. was There's exceptions, not the rule. Yeah, it's that funny that the music would take another twenty years that it had was a G, what, not GTA, but it was a. Red Dead 2 footage. Oh wow! For the yeah. music video I back when, it, it, when the it, song it, first it, came it, out, video game. the music video was Red Dead footage. That's great. Um, but that's how, like, from the bottom, this dude comes hey, to he where now he's got production and shit. Be, like, wow, dude, doing it out like of your own four years, bed, your bedroom and your house. That's how you're doing it. Yeah, there's a lot of great country music out there, but it is not what's well, he's on not country right now. now. I wouldn't consider him country. Oh, now. he was never country. Like I said, that was a novelty <laughs> yeah. song. The dude's yeah. all fuck. The dude's just an artist. It's like yeah. Bobby bounces around from genres. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's basically how I, I actually appreciate that more artists are doing that now yeah. and actually uh, being known Have for balls. that now. Well, Have balls. Well, showing their skill too. Yeah, instead of just being a one thing, a one trick pony that can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I appreciate that. That can is, you say that nowadays? Have balls. Uh, show your balls. Balls. Is balls. That a, balls. Show us your balls. Are we canceling me? This now? album right here, uh, for a debut album, uh, let, let's forget that he comes from a long line of country uh, artists. Just uh, on, you own. Put that. on its own merits. It's this is a fantastic debut album from a heavy metal punk Where does it go? country band. 
That is a question now. All right, so it's called four. four. Four, but it's Roman numerals, okay? So, Roman numerals is I, V. Should I file this <laughs> in the I's, or should I file this in the fours? Do you have your Hank Williams all together? Well, I've got the Williams, but see, that's Hank Williams. You know what I'm saying? I got the Williams in the Williams well, section with the Well, technically his name would still start as Hank Williams. But this, this is, is a Williams. This is, this is a band name. Yeah, this I is think a it band can still fall in there because it's still part of the lineage. Yeah, you still put it in there. You it's still put it in there if you wanted to file it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's a good way to file it. It's yeah. like how I've got all the Claypool stuff together, you know? Um, it is the Williams, and it's it's a, it's a lineage in the, you know. Like, I don't have Oysterhead and the O's. I have Oysterhead chronologically with so the Claypool shit. Then it should stay with the Williams. I mean, you Hank can. Williams. You can. You can do that. But I, this is really just me joking, because, like, I, I see people on the collector groups all the time. How do you file your stuff? Do, do, do. I'm like, do it how you yeah. want. Do it how you feel. Do it how you feel. But what did you guys think uh, of this? If you've heard it, do you like it? Uh, I This I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to yeah. give it a 9. That's a very solid I, 9. Yeah, I'm not ready to give this a 10 yet. I want to see what else this band can do. Uh, but it is 10 material. It's 10 material. Uh, but I'm gonna give it a nine because I like everything on here, but um, I do find myself, even though it's only the first two tracks, I do kind of find myself skipping a little bit. So I, sometimes I want to like hear the heavier saying, stuff. Come on, like get to it. Yeah. Um, but to me, the more impressive stuff starts happening once you get it deep down and into the rest it, of the album. It, it, all the way up. All like way those up. are good appetizers in a way. Builds up to it, especially so. with that with that ending. As yeah, man, it, it, that album is so heavy, so heavy, just leaving you off. Well, like, you completely album. forget the fucking first songs. Yeah, like, it's, it, it's such a detour, it is such a detour, um, that, like, you know, because, like, the Hank 3 albums, they, they, they blend it, they blend it, so it's like, you, you have a flow of where all the heavy stuff, and the punky stuff, and the country stuff's gonna go, like, this one kind of, like, it, it, it kind of choom, 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 you, you never really one know One song was happen. more hard rock, and the next one was all kind yeah. of cow punk. Yeah, real, uh, real, really, really good fucking album, man. Nine One thing that was more consistent was it get getting darker and darker. Yeah, some of the, the stuff album. is real dark, and then some of the it's stuff is slightly like, like drinking sad's got some humorous bits. Uh, uh, Still, that's a pretty damn dark song. <laughs> that's pretty sad. I say it's like it's you're crying tears in your beer. <laughs> But uh, uh, I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Um, I uh, can't that, rate it because I didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, definitely check it out when you get a I chance. I like what I heard from you playing it recent or just now. Yeah. I mean, like I got Mumford vibes, on. but yeah. you know, here to go what on the Mumford. Mumford could have been. <laughs> Mumford broke up. Did they now? Mumford broke up and Marcus Mumford went solo. I know he one has, of them. Didn't one of them like get fired or quit or something? I don't know anything. Maybe. maybe. Something about Trump shit. Oh, I think I think I did read up on some. Anyway, we're not getting into politics here. We don't do that around here. Yeah, we talk about music, y'all. Yeah, it's all music. But anyway, uh, Marcus Mumford went solo, and it sucks. <laughs> God damn. Comes out this month or next month, and I heard one song, and I said, "Damn, I've 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 bought enough." Isn't that upsetting? But uh, what do you rate this, Josh? Is it you said a nine, so Josh and I, me and nine, Zach a undecided, but on the good side of the fence. Uh, so what did you guys think? Uh, tell us uh, in the comments, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, uh, we'll get it to you fairly soon. Uh, but boom, here we go.